Welcome to Alabastra. Even among previews of this game, you know, people who play the first a first little bit to give you a first look, this is probably the least represented area on YouTube. One of the most atmospheric. Hello, folks. The House of Pride opened its gates and welcomed us as honorary champions. They say it's simple hospitality, but I suspect we have you to thank. Now is the difficult part. We can hold Chloricon, even push a little into Alabastra, but we don't have the forces to mount a siege on Gadflow. Can we trust the House of Pride? Once the House of Pride gives their word, they'll never break it. At least, not what it looks like we're winning. Our real problem is that we can't march the army through Alabastra. Not in formation, at least. This will call for smaller groups. So... we can't stop Gadflow. Not directly, anyway. Alabastra is a maze of valleys. Gadflow's remaining faithful would spot an army moving together. And the valleys would be the death of us. But where an army would fail, the five of us can triumph. If we split up, we can travel faster and catch them unaware. We will at the House of Vengeance, on Gadflow's doorstep. From there, we strike at Bale, the heart of his empire. Hmm. What aren't you telling me? More than you'd think. But I promise I'll explain it all to you. Maybe once Gadflow's dead. Hmm. What of this Bale? That's when we'll find Gadflow. And where we'll put an end to this whole war. I hope you're ready. This time. Very well. Clearly you're not interested in providing explanations. I'll see you in Alabastra. Hope you've got better luck this time, eh? Alright, well. I'm not even going to bother asking you what you mean by that. Hey, Garth, what are you doing? Corpses. We haven't seen the crystals floating in the air yet. We'll get there. They're all over the place here. What? Ah, oh, yes, we have to go that way. So, Alabaster, yes, we have to go all the way around to Rendezvous in Amara. And from there, it'll be a straight shot to finish the game, I believe, because then once we're in Bale, we'll be uh, heading in to fight the final boss and the final final thing against Gadflow. So we're going to proceed through some areas here and uh, do some side quests and try to get ready. Moon down. That's an alchemy lab. There is Hello. a smithy here. Yes, yes. What about you? Can you repair my armor? Hey, you're the hero of Melsenshir. I've heard all about you. Private Eilis Ilva at your service. Don't have much for supplies, but you're welcome to them. Oh, merchant. What can you tell me about Camp Moondown? We've survived two night raids, but we lost our healer and our weaponsmith in the confusion. And don't even mention the mercenaries. I'm skilled with a bow, but not enough to defeat an entire band of Tuatha, and there aren't many others who can fight. All right, so that's what happens. So I guess we have. Con are we going to be able to rescue their weaponsmith? Knave. Hello, mortal. I am the knave of pride. Wait a moment. The hero of Melson Shear, here to offer your services. You have impeccable timing. I have some bulgans that need to be <laughs> disposed of. What about these bulgans? They're everywhere. Big red faces. The stuff of nightmares. The bulgan masters use them as foot soldiers when they can. They compel the bulgan to fight. If you're in the mood, locate these bulgan masters. Shouldn't be too difficult for the hero of Melsen Shear. <laughs> Won't be difficult at all. Well, get to work then, hero. And come see me once you've thwarted the threat. Where are they? 
Not sure what they're about. Always seem to turn up whenever we are desperately clinging to life. It's a lovely arrangement. Goodbye. That's gonna be some nice XP. But I am gonna wanna fate shift them when I get there. So there's three. One is here. I think this is off in a little cave. What do we have here? Fergorta. I'm gonna take... I am definitely going to take some time to do some stuff here. Yeah, this is definitely off in a cave. Let's do this one. But Fergorta don't see me. I think. Are bar guests going to come charging out of the cave? I think they do. Yep. Oh no, just to Wapa. You're not <laughs> <boy. laughs> Okay. Been better. I'm still trying to get the timing down on these uh, on these greatsword moves. Okay, let's see where th what's up with this first Bolgan Master Glass Pillar Caves. Here we go. Here are some crystals. Told you we were gonna find them. They're all over Alabastra. Is it only Bogan Brutes? Nope, we have Tawatha down here as well. Got Tuatha. Mercy. Archer. to get more stuff. I'm gonna probably loot almost everything I find in here if I have space. Oh. So what's down here? Because I need to make a better greatsword. I don't know if I can make a better greatsword except with, like, better shards and better gems. Because the great azurite blade... I think that's the best blade we can get. certain on that, since I've never really done the greatsword thing before. Master Warding String. Not taking the Fey Blades, don't really need those. This is him. Two Bolgan, and... Oh, and there's a wizard. Just one wizard. Just one wizard, two Bolgan. <laughs> Another ghostling for the harbor. I dodged. I dodged. You even saw it. What? Hiding behind them. Okay. Get over here. No. Now that won't work on him because he's inside the circle. Got 
got him. Jeez. Dodge too soon, not too. Okay, that's one of them. So they're just Tuatha. I thought it was going to be a, uh, you know, a giant Bolgan with, uh, I don't know, troll-like abilities. Oh, hard, whatever. So, another Bolgan. So, I'm kind of, uh, Trying to think ahead here to what I'm going to do after the end of the game, because there's a lot of content that I haven't done, and I'm thinking that I'm going to... Ah, no shield. I might put together a series of videos. I've done this before, I know I did this for Assassin's Creed Brotherhood, of uh, what I call post-game series. Oh shit! There's a mine in here. Ah, I touched! A post-game series. Oh, there's another mine. See that little circle? Yup. And just run around, do a few missions. I wanted to do all the faction missions. I don't... I know I'm definitely going to be playing the DLC. I don't... I don't know if I'm going to get to them all. Because the point isn't to do a completion run. As I said at the start of this playthrough, that would be a lot of content. My goal instead was always to show you what the game is about, and hopefully you want to go play it yourself. Wait, what? He ran towards me, and then disappeared. And now they're coming from this way. Just because there is so much content here, I don't know that it would be... I mean, unless I was going to make a, uh, you know, a dedicated channel, all things Amalur, you know, and there would be a finite, a large amount of content for that, but a finite amount nevertheless. Not really going to do a completionist run. Find up. Just, just spam them here. Get that battle frenzy. I still haven't done the war cry. I really, oh, good. I really want to put points into it. Points into the war cry. But if I want to get the next level uh, sorcery and soldier uh, card. I have to put points into sorcery. Alright, fine, let's try it. Because the point of all my playthroughs that I make is hopefully... Not, is not just to... Oh, shit. Is not just to, uh... provide a playthrough of the game, but hopefully to inspire you to go out and... experience it for yourself. Okay, more damage. 28 freezing damage. Yeah, but 50 burning damage, so that's 150, extra 150 damage versus, you know, what's 6 times 28, 6 times 8. It's 48, carry the 4. 
Well, that's a little bit more over time, but it takes longer. We'll take it. Maybe we'll be able to get a uh, disc out of it. A frost disc. What? What the heck is this? Oh, that's a side mission. I'm not going to screw that up by doing that now. I don't know what side mission it is, but it's incredibly specific. The only caveat, and I mentioned this once before in my Forsaken Plains uh, series of videos for this game. Uh, the only caveat with all of this is if you can get this game running on modern hardware. Obviously, I have it running, but I'm still running a uh, ha Haswell ARS CPU. So this is a Core i5 4000 series. It's a 4590. And this CPU is like four or five years old. And I'm running Windows 7, which is obviously pretty old as well. People running Windows 8 and Windows 10 have reported trouble running this game. That's not uh, it's not ideal at all, and it's kind of a kind of a hindrance if you're hoping to go out and try this yourself. So, kind of disappointing in that respect. Fergorta, Fergorta, Whispering Caves, Whispering. I swear there's a mission in the Whispering Caves. Let's go for here. Let's go for the next uh, Bolgan Master. Now look at you. I don't care. Oh, there's three of them. Four of them. How's my health? Oh, well, my health is fine. Okay, I've walked into a ton of priests here. Okay. Get over here. Why did he do that? Make your gotcha. Nice. Could have been a little more elegant. But not bad. Yes, I'm going to have an extended session at the blacksmith shop soon. So now where is he? Is he up above or is he down below? I think he's down below. A lot of soldiers have tried to come through here before. Cruel greatsword. Oh, but that does... Most of the other greatswords I was getting ha only did 84 physical. This does 94. This could have an even better base blade. Okay. Hopefully he does not... They do not get reinforcements. And he does. He's got sprites. Come on. Almost have him. Two sprites, really? How are we doing on time? Come on, come on, come on. I gotta fake shift somebody. matter who. Oh. 
one shot. Come on. That's two. But now I'm going to have to do the third one old school again. So I'm also trying to decide where I should put more points uh, in my main skills. I think detect hidden. Because sometimes... I always like to have at least one game... There's still an enemy over here? I always like to have at least one game that I can just boot up and chill with. And... If it is going to be... Oh, wow, he's way over there. And if it's going to be Kingdoms of Amalur... Let's just go this way. Then I would like to... Uh, I'm probably going to run around and complete as much as I can. Because most of my time with this game is actually spent on Origin, not on Steam, so I actually don't have all the Steam achievements. Crude Prismere Feyblades. <laughs> well, I need to take those. 56, come on, get out of here. If nothing else, for the Prismere Feyblades. I'm gonna have to sort this out. We got two off them. Troll hide again. Always troll hide. I remember there is a side mission that goes in here, but let's just unlock that one. So we can fast travel if we have to. More fair gorgia. And to Wapa. <laughs> I haven't done the stab out of it yet. That was a first. And we're also slowly filling our fate meter, too. That's good. Maybe I'll be able to fate shift by the time I get down here. Ah, uh, that pop in, though. Oh, shit. We got two, wi two magicians here. <laughs> Though obviously my health is good enough at this point that I don't, I'm not too concerned. Come on. Aha! He's just standing there with his back to me. Like I said, I haven't been very good about looking up. Most of my time I seem to be down like this, but there's actually some really nice vistas. Unfortunately, I don't know of a way to turn the HUD off. I think there is one, but I don't know of it. Every single game should have an option to turn disable the heads-up display so you can take nice screenshots. More crystals. A lot of creatures up there, and that's where he is, too. Oh, look. Yeah. Oh, shit. Bolt him. Okay. And we're ready to go. Nice. Sweet Ro. 
probes. Probably not going to use them, but I'll disassemble them. Oh, sprites, come on. Oh, shit, I got him. Come on. Come on. I tried to bring up bring up the shield, failed. Too slow. The window on the sprites is very small. Okay, pal. Where are you? There you are. Ooh, another ghostling for the fire. I may not even have to fate shift here. <laughs> didn't. Is there anybody else to loot here? He's the... No. Okay. Is this stone? No, it's supposed to be a tent. It looks like stone. But our way will lie further in. Can we fast travel? Yeah. Ha, I'm too young to die. You have returned. No Bulgan tough enough to best the hero, eh? Nope. Ah, thank you, mortal. High Fulgin will be a bit safer now, thanks to you. <laughs> 